welcome back guys in the last lecture we have discussed about the project structure of react in any react project we have three folders and four files now in this video we are going to discuss the debugging of react application here i have already executed this hello world project i will copy the localhost 3000 link and i will paste it in the google chrome url this is the localhost 3000 you can see here we have only one h1 text in the app.js component in that we have written hello world i will open the app.js component here you can see this is the app.js component in the h1 text i have written hello world now i will change the text from hello world to debugging of react application react application control s now let's see here you can see the title is changed from hello world to debugging of react application first we will discuss what is debugging debugging is the process of identifying and removing the errors from the application so to identify the errors first we have to know the process of execution in react application means out of these three folders and four files which file will execute first whenever you run the npm start command now we will see it first click on the source folder to expand it here the app.js is the component and the index.js is the one and only script file in the re entire react application and in the public folder we have one html file this is the only html page in the react application now we will see which file will execute whenever you run the npm start command when you run the npm start command first the compiler will check the index.html file here you can see in the public folder we have the index.html file in that index.html file the compiler will identify the id of the div here you can see in the entire index.html file we have only one div with the attribute id and the value is equal to root we have only one div with the attribute id and the value is equal to root after checking this div id then the compiler will move to index.js file which is present in the src folder means source folder in the source folder we have to open the index.js file here you can see this is the index.js file in the index.js file we have to render the app.js component in the div here you can see we have rendered the app.js component this is app component and we have placed the app component in the div which is called as root if you open the index.html file in the index.html file we have one div with the attribute id is equal to root and we are placing the app.js component in the div using the index.js file this is the index.js file with the help of this index.js file we have to place this app.js component in the div which is present in the index.html file this index.js and index.html is the one and only html page and one and only script file in the entire react applications that's why we need not to make any changes in these two files we should remain these two files as it is if you make any changes in these two files it will raise the errors suppose here i am deleting this root keyword here i am removing the t from root i am pressing ctrl s now we will see whether it is raising errors or not here you can see we got the error that's why we should not make any changes in these two files i am replacing the root as it is ctrl s now we will see the output here you can see there is no error if you change anything in the index.html also it will raise the errors here also i am removing the root i am pressing ctrl s now let's see the output Again, it's raising error. That's why we should not make any changes. I'll write root. After checking these both index.html page and index.js file, the compiler will identify the root component. With the help of this root component, the compiler will go to the app.js component. This is the default component, which we need not to create it. It will come by the default whenever you create a new React application. So when you create a new react application, you should start making changes from this app dot component only. You should not touch this index dot html component, not component. It is a file and this index dot js file. You should start making changes from only this app dot js component only. 
we should not touch index.html as well as index.js. We should remain that both files as it is. Thank you.